Well, Japan, they're shifting their energy generation to renewable sources. This is following, of course, the Fukushima nuclear plant disaster a few years ago. Now, they're aiming to double their renewable energy output in 15 years by 2030. They built a floating solar plant. Now, only one of three countries in the world has one of these. The plant, it's going to have 51,000 solar modules installed over the waters of the Yamakura Dam Reservoir. Now, this is going to generate uh, 16,170 MWHs of electricity per year, enough to power roughly 4,700 typical households. Joe, this is big news. Australia and India are the other two countries that, that actually have a floating power plant, if you will. Um, what they're saying also that this is going to, to generate a current, this is, if I can just tell you how this works because it's really cool, um, the, the substations are going to collect and generate this current uh, that are then going to be integrated and fed into Tokyo, this electric plant, into their grid lines, powering Japan. How awesome is this? It's, it's great. Obviously, it's great news uh, for cutting emissions. Uh, and Japan can be, can be setting a precedent for other countries to follow suit. Mm -hmm. um, Japan especially, it's a country that's starved of space. And yet they're building this giant thing on top of a reservoir. And we've seen recently they've been shutting down nuclear plants. So they've been having to rely more on importing fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. And so this really is in an effort to curb that and to cut its emissions further. Um, I have to wonder, though, do you think that this is in response to Fukushima and obviously the disaster there? That are they trying to be seen as more energy forward as a result of Fukushima? Or do you think it's generally uh, a genuine response to the world trying to cut down on fossil fuels? I think that that nuclear power plant disaster, so the, the safety aspect of their energy, they're questioning it more. I don't know if it's because of bad press or just because of, of, of the... the catastrophic damage that it did to the environment. But good news on this front, with this solar plant, um, the capacity, it's its going to offset 18,170 um, tons of carbon emissions. So, or carbon dioxide emissions, rather. And um, that's the equivalent of burning 19,000 barrels of oil. So this is very good news. I want to point out regarding the space issue that you mentioned in, in Japan, which is part of the reason why they're probably doing this, putting it on a reservoir instead of taking it valuable land. This is what uh, one of the workers from the Solar, Solar G Energy Group that worked on this project had to say about it. His name is Toshidi Kohana. Um, he says, due to the rapid implementation of solar power in Japan, securing tracts of land suitable for utility-scale solar power plants is becoming difficult. On the other hand, because there are many reservoirs for agricultural use and flood control, we believe there's great potential for floating solar power generation business. So we could see this budding up ever. Would you mind if you were, I don't know, would you mind if this were in the ocean, I guess? Could we see this, do you think? It, massive solar It's not the modules. ideal situation. No one wants to see uh, these giant panels on top of a reservoir or obviously an ocean but at the same time it's definitely a worse effect if we continue to use fossil fuels at the current rate in terms mm -hmm. of climate change um, and you know we're seeing countries like Costa Rica running on hundred percent renewable energy so hopefully mm -hmm. this when we see a larger country like Japan making such a statement by doing this it will encourage other countries that haven't been hit by such disasters as Fukushima to do the same mm -hmm. Well, they're doubling down on their renewable energy with that promise by 2030 to double the sources of renewable energy. This looks like a great step in that direction. Um, the safety aspect of their energy they're certainly dealing with. And the best part of this, being able to power up to 4,700 households.